pitches. I just hope these bugs don't have anything in them. <laughs> Maybe X swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt. Ryan Stafford will have to throw to first, and he does. And that's the first out of the inning. One, two, pitch, swung on and missed. Strikeout number nine for Thorpe. Here comes the one, two, swung on and missed. A pitch in the dirt. Stafford apparently did not apply the tag, so he had to throw to first to get the out. All ten strikeouts are swinging. And Cal State Fullerton retired in order in the fifth. Repetti set. And the next pit to Lee swung on, hit to right field, down the line, it is gone. Grand slam number two. And he knew it, Birdman, the way he... Oh, and the right fielder knew it, too. He didn't even run for it. He just turned it around. The only question was, would it be fair or not? And it was fair by several feet. Brooks Lee, home run number 11. RBIs, numbers 43, 44, 45, and 46. The Mustangs have scored six in the inning to lead 9-2. Left-handed batter, and he's hitting south as a right-handed batter. Joe York swings at the first pitch. There's another base hit for Big Joe into left field. One run scores. Nico dives in. It's a two-run single, and the Mustangs have an 11-3 lead at Cal State Fullerton in the eighth. RBIs two and three tonight for Big Joe. His second hit, and he stays high. Eight games over 500, I believe that would match their highest total over 500 in conference play. One two pitch. Swing and a bouncer to second. Marin Kahn's has it. Throws to first, and this game is over. Cal Poly never trails in the series opener at Goodwin Field tonight, and they take care of Cal State Fullerton 13 4, the final. It has been a special stretch for Joe York. Nothing at two, the pitch, swing, and that ball is clobbered. Out towards the gap in deep right center. It's way back there and off the base of the wall. He just keeps raking. Marin Khan scores easily from second, and Big Joe takes his place with a run-scoring double on a nothing in two pitch. It's one nothing Cal Poly. Joe York's sixth double in his last five games. He now has a 16-game hitting streak, and he had driven in 13 runs in his last six games for Cal Poly. And he has now picked up eight hits over his last four games. That might be another one. He sends a line drive to left center. Doss in and to his left, crashes down to the grass, and holds on. A great catch made by Reagan Doss. Another 1-2 from Yates to Stafford on the way. And it swung on, bounced to first, and fielded foul. Or do they say fair? They said no. He said foul. He said foul. And now he's and calling now he it says fair. Fair. He said foul. He pointed twice foul. He pointed twice foul. And then he said fair. Connor fielded it, beat Stafford to the bag, and the inning is over. I, I think he meant to point fair, and perhaps verbally. Well, I think here, here's the situation. Ball. The first base umpire only has it when it goes past the bag. It is a home plate umpire's call up to the bag. He twice pointed foul. Yes, and he then, did. And then once Connor fielded it and touched the bag at first, he signaled fair and out. And when you point foul, the play's over. It's dead. The Mustangs were not happy with Kelly Gonzalez on an unjudged fly ball last night that wound up a hit. It is Gonzalez again who can't seem to make up his mind. That has to be the point of contention with the umpire's conference right now. I Once mean, you, you point can't, foul, yeah, you can't it's over. It. What warranted the change as the play was happening? And now they say foul ball. They have to. They have there to. There is just no argument whatsoever. Oh, and of course, Jason Dietrich is upset. I mean, wouldn't you be? <laughs> you thought the inning was over, and now you have to, to pitch to a guy that has 15 hits in his last five games. 
with the bases loaded and two outs. So Fullerton, they had gone back to the third base dugout, and now they have to retake the field. And I'd imagine Evan Yates will be given a warm-up pitch or two. And what if Stafford finds a gap on this next pitch? Here's the full count pitch. Half swing, no appeal, just outside, ball four. Joe York works a bases loaded walk, and it's 2 nothing Cal Poly. A very late appeal now to third base, and wow. Travis Reininger says no swing. End up Viegas, Lopez, and Doss. Five, six, and seven in the batting order. The 0-2 pitch. Swing, and that's hit hard. Diving, stop Borgonio. The third baseman gets up, fires the first, and it's in time. A great play made by the former Titan down at the hot corner, taking away extra bases from JT Naviak. 1-0 pitch swung on, and that's hit well to right field. And that ball is gone. A line drive shot to right field, about 390 feet away from home plate. Joe York, his third home run of the year. Fourth as a Mustang. And the two-run shot gives Cal Poly a 4-0 lead here in the fourth. And he has all four RBIs tonight. I mean, this guy is on something different. The way he has swung it during this hitting streak. 1-0 pit the Lions swung on fly ball, left center field. Doss on the warning track. He's at the wall, leaps up, and makes the catch. No, they say it's not a catch. They're saying not a catch. Wait, wait, hold on. Well, now we have a runner who's off the bag at second, so he's been tagged oh, it's a out. Double play. He did catch it. It is a double play. And again. Here we go again. This crew did not make it evident what the call was. And that's a double play. Wow. Well, the Mustangs have cleared the field. Jason Dietrich is out to talk to the third base umpire, Travis Radiger. And let's hold on for just a moment to make sure. And now we're going to have a conference. This is the third, maybe the fourth conference of the umpires in the series so far. Whether Doss made the catch after the ball hit the wall is probably the center of attention right now with the four umpires. He leaped up against the wall in left center field, appeared to make the catch from my vantage point, got the ball back in the infield, and then Cal Poly tagging out a runner, which would be the third out of the inning. Well, there's an out somewhere. I think there are two outs somewhere. We have another umpire delay. <laughs> Let the ump show continue. Usually umpires don't like to be the center of attention. And now the home plate umpire is telling Cal State Fullerton to take the field. So the inning is over. And Cal State Fullerton will settle for one run on two hits. And nobody left. Jason Dietrich is, is looking for some good news from one of the four umpires, and he's just not going to get it. Shard at second, Naviac at first, nobody out. 1 2 pitch swung on at the ground ball to Brooks Lee. He goes to second for one, and the first for a double play. Brooks Lee had a chance for a play at third to erase the lead runner, but the Mustang get two outs. On the 6-4-3 double play. And the batter in the ninth spot of the order is Haley. Next pitch swung on, and that's hit into deep in the hole between first and second. The play is made to first, Haley to Connor. For the first out of the inning, Stafford scores from third, and it is 5-1 Cal Poly. Two hits. And four RBIs. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a line drive. Left center field. Back into his right. And playing it on a hop is Lyon. Lagatuda around third. He will score. Marin Kahn's two-third. Big Joe has five RBIs in Fullerton tonight. Three more hits. His fifth time on base. And the Mustangs get a big insurance run to go up 6-2. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss. 
Jason Franks strikes out the side in the ninth and slams the door shut on Cal State Fullerton tonight. For the first time in program history, the Cal Poly Mustangs have won a Big West series at Cal State Fullerton. They have taken the first two games of the weekend. The game two final score, Mustangs six, Titans two. Came up with Marin Cons at third and two outs in the first and flew out to right field. Right hand hitter swings at the first pitch, a ground ball towards the middle and through into center field. Brooks Lee scores from third base and the Mustangs take a one nothing lead at Cal State Fullerton in the top of the third. So Ryan Stafford continues his tear the last couple of weeks. That's his 29th RBI of the year. One ball, two strikes. Warwicker set at the belt. He throws. Swing and a line drive right to Brooks Lee. He dives to the dirt, holds on to the line drive, and that's it for Fullerton in the third. Chester comes to the plate, and York sends a fly ball down the left field line, and that is going to land for a base hit. Marincons was running on the pitch, but he has to stop at second just to make sure the ball falls in, and the Mustangs have runners at first and second with one out. Here's the two-one pitch. Lopez swings. High fly ball. Deep left center field. This one is on its way, and goodbye. A go-ahead blast from the fifth-year senior. And the Mustangs take a 2-1 lead in the ninth. Lopez almost did that in his previous at-bat, but Shark made a great catch against the wall in the sixth inning. Lopez hits it out here in the ninth. No secret that it's been a frustrating up-and-down final college season for Matt Lopez. He has not been an everyday starter throughout the year. But his bat has heated up late in the season. And his third home run of 2022 is a go-ahead solo shot to put the Mustangs up 2-1 on the road at Cal State Fullerton. Jason Franks will face the top third of the Cal State Fullerton batting order. Caden Connor has a couple of hits. He leads off the left-hand batter, swings at the first pitch. Sends a one-hopper to Marin Cons. He stops it as he goes into his slide, gets up and throws out Connor at first base. A terrific stop and stab made by the Mustang second baseman Nick Marincons to prevent that ball from hitting the gap in right center field. Franks checks second, 0-1 home, swing and a line drive, shallow center field, Dosh coming in, he will make the running catch, and this game is over. Jason Franks lets out a roar. The Mustangs come pouring from the first base dugout to celebrate. They have swept Cal State Fullerton for a second straight season this year at Goodwin Field. And they take the finale today by a final of 2-1.